Hello, and welcome to Universal Cargo Shipping News, where we ask, what the freight is going on with international shipping? I'm Jared Vineyard. One of the world's largest container ships ran aground in Germany's Elbe River on its approach to the port of Hamburg. The ship is a CSCL Indian Ocean. That's right, the container ship was so large it was named after an entire ocean. It's longer than the Empire State Building is tall. That's what she said. Ooh, it's time for your ship is so big jokes. Your ship is so big when it sits around the port, it really sits around the port. Actually, your ship is so big, it doesn't even get to the port because it gets stuck in the sand under the water. Your ship is so big, it takes the stars aligning to raise the tide in 12 tugboats to get it back afloat. Those last two aren't jokes. It really did take a higher than normal tide and 12 tugboats to pull the CSCL Indian Ocean back afloat. Look, this mega ship can carry 19,100 TEUs of shipping containers. More and more carriers are moving towards these mega ships for their cost saving benefits. But just imagine one of these fully loaded mega ships going down and the amount of cost that that would have for shippers. It could be disastrous. Speaking of disaster, the international shipping industry is in for a decade of recession. Well, that according to AP Moeller Maersk, the world's largest shipping company in terms of capacity. Maersk is about as stable as a carrier can get in the international shipping industry. That's because it's diversified between Maersk lines handling international shipping and then Maersk oil. The problem is overcapacity exacerbated by all of these mega ships has really pushed freight rates down, hurting Maersk lines, and then this oil glut has really hurt Maersk oil. Unfortunately, this is probably not just some overreaction by Maersk. The company does in-depth research and analysis on the shipping industry. So when they say something like, the industry might be swept up in a 10-year long recession, people take notice. If this decade-long recession turns out to be true, you can expect the field of carriers competing in the international shipping industry to shrink even more than it already has through carrier alliances, mergers, and buyouts. For more on these stories, check out Universal Cargo's blog in the links provided. If you have any questions pertaining to international shipping, just let us know on Facebook or Twitter with the hashtag WhatTheFreight. Until next time, stay in ship shape.